Hey there, folks. Hey, thanks for joining me. Love Them Knives channel, LTK here. Artisan Cutlery. Um, <clears throat> saw these. I didn't even know that they were going to do the Tomahawk in G10. I guess I never asked the questions. So uh, I saw this listed and I'm going, okay, yeah, I think I might have to check this out because they're like 50 bucks. So, I mean, the, obviously the titanium version of this in M390 is like $200. I think you can get this in S35VN and titanium as well for like around 175 So, and of course, buy them from um, White Mountain Knives because LTK is your 10% discount code. And if you don't see him listed on his site, send him a message to his site, ask him, because he does have artisan cutlery on there listed, but he probably doesn't have every single iteration of every single model because, I mean, they got the Virginia, the tradition, uh, you know, they've got the Apache, they got the jungle, they've got the waistline, they've got, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm, losing my mind but they got a bunch of the littoral uh all kinds of different and and the osprey and the osprey looks a little bit like this only it's a little bit smaller and it's a little different design than this but these are liner lock knives and that is a pretty strong lockup right there at least 50 percent let's look inside yes they look like they have been weight relieved if you can see in there right there okay and uh even in the back of the bottom uh here where the lock bar is pretty nice heavy duty stainless uh liners and yeah they're well done uh they're not real edgy or sharp so that's good and you've got of course uh a stone wash blade so everything's smooth on here obviously you got a front choil uh, for going forward and sharpening, whatever. And they've all got ceramic bearings. There's a detent ball. Get over that. Ceramic bearings. Now this particular one has very little detent. Now, how much detent do you need? Not much, because it swings pretty good. So it's pretty smooth. Uh, I did not take this one apart, but uh, yeah, ceramic bearings. And interesting grip. These come, I mean, I don't know why they did the orange, but I like it. It pops, especially on the green. And you know, the initial knives that they had out, and let me, let me see if I can find one. Well, yeah, here's a, a, this one was an early one I got from the SHOT Show. So this is damn near prototype city type thing. But in any case, see, here's the here's the pivot. And on the back side, they yeah, have same thing. So I took a screwdriver to open it, right? This, no, they've changed because we discussed this. And this is one that Russell, who's their USA rep guy, he, um, he said, dude, I, I don't think. And we, you know, I got some feedback. We talked, things like that that but i mean mostly his recommendation because he's a smarter guy than i am but uh, he recommended this and yeah of course so now you've got you know just a number number eight torx take it apart this is the design but this is how you take it apart and then these are number sixes i believe back in here for disassembly and uh, but of course you've got the right or left hand tip up carry with a deep carry pocket clip and there's the backspacer. I had some pretty good uh, response when I posted this on my Instagram. People were like, where'd you get it? Because when I got mine, it was just being released. So I don't think any of the online retailers had posted any yet. And they may not post all the models and the entire line for artisan cutlery because there's a lot of knives. There's a lot of knives. And the, I forgot the Cobra which is like a karambit type knife. Uh, so it's, it's just, 
Wow. There's a bunch. And then they do, do two different sizes in, uh, in some of the knives as well. The Shark has two different sizes. The Tradition, this is the Tradition. The, there's a, a large and a, and a small of this model, of this design in titanium. There's just this size in G10. I'm thinking later they'll come out with a smaller version as well as not only in titanium, but in G10 as well. So that's interesting because this is a great knife. Uh, big, but this is a big Brutus right here. Heavy duty. And you can see, see, they did not weight relieve these at first. This is, these are some of their very, very first production. So different setup now, okay? Same thing with the Jungle, another model, okay? So, and this is, is this before they started doing them too? Well, no, they've done a little bit stuff up in there. In any case, well, it's because of this. But in any case, no, they didn't do any beyond that. But this is even a more recent, but still hadn't changed the pivot. So how about that? This is a big knife, though. This is about nine inches overall. Just check it out. There you go. Four inches to the back of the choil, basically. So almost 100 millimeters. Maybe not quite. We could argue about that, but pretty close. And almost nine inches. Just a skosh, a 64th maybe over, uh, or a 32nd over eight and seven eighths, but call it eight, seven eighths, uh, over 22 and a half centimeters. So when they start getting to 22 plus, that, that's a good size knife. That's a good size knife. Um, paramilitary two, smaller knife, definitely smaller knife. Here you go here. It's gonna look bigger in this aspect ratio. Now, of course there's like maybe five eighths of an inch difference between these two knives, so this is not big big bunch but this is this is a honker right here let's see what we got for blade stock 3.66 0. 0.145 of an inch and overall 0. 0.56 14.3 millimeters that's a handful that's definitely a handful this doesn't seem to present any hot spots for me but I like these deep carry, and I like the fact that it comes, and when it comes back up, it kind of levels off at the end. It doesn't just point up, it levels off here. So that really doesn't uh, present the hot spot that you might have otherwise. And going forward, and will the knife be a knife? Well, yeah, I'd say it would. Absolutely. So they're sharp out of the box. Good little knives. But yes, I'd say the weakest thing on this knife is the detent. And of course, some of you guys probably don't like these cleaver style knives. If you don't, then you don't like this knife. Um, but as far as ergos go, it's great big swell out here. It, it's a big, long handle, gives you plenty of room, even for bigger hands. I mean, look at that, for bigger hands. And going forward, well, hell, then you got the back 40 here available. So, I mean, regardless, this reverse grip, not a problem. So, yeah. They've kind of machined away here. And look at the pass-through here. Wow, plenty of room on the pass-through. But yeah, very weak detent. Not like it's going to, if you're running around doing this and that, like it's going to fall out of your pocket. But it doesn't take much. So keep that in mind, at least as far as this one goes. Whether that detent varies by knife... You know, at a $50 price point, I think it might. It might vary. So you might get a stronger detent than this one. I just, this was just, you know, a crapshoot. I just bought it right through the marketplace like anybody else. So comes in a box. 
comes with a uh, you know a nice kind of a velvet ish type bag that we throw on the floor and let's see if we can get it off the floor inside you know it's got plastic so it goes in the plastic in the bag and yeah, drawstring bag um yes put your marbles in there whatever and then it gives you the uh tomahawk model number d2 58 to 60 you know g10 ceramic ball cnc whatever so and these are really sturdy boxes really sturdy boxes so you know the other knives that i've had and this one is a fairly recent one too is the Zumwalt. I just had to check it out because the Zumwalt came out as another model. Did I even mention that? I don't know how many models. There's got to be at least 12 or more models. And I never counted them all up, but there's got to be at least 12. And there's, you know, and some of them, like the, the tradition, there's large and small in the titanium. Then they've got all different colors. Blue, green, purple regular you know all that in the small and in the large and then some of these are going to be m390 or s35 vn these g10 ones are d2 okay so then you know you get into that and there you go you got the zumwalt as well and this comes in different colors deep carry clip right or left hand and they, they put a blocker plate on this one. Why? Because this, I mean, I guess this is a little more refined. See how the G10 is machined here? So this is a little bit more refined looking. Why they did that, I don't know. This is more like just a regular, flat, but grippy type scale. And it's not trying to go downtown uh, glitz. So there's no blocker plate on there for flipping it side to side it's not the same kind of machining so this is probably intended more for a different type of usage than this with the satin grind not a stone wash all that kind of but who knows i mean basically they're the same price so it depends on what fills your fancy do you want green do you want black do you want orange do you i can't remember if they have tan or camo necessarily but in any case, they got all kinds of different colors, or if they got dark earth, I'm trying to remember, and I can't. There's just been so much, but cool knives. I mean, this one's weight relieved on, on the inside, so this one's more of the modern production that's coming out now, okay? so And that's a big knife, too. And then, of course, the Apache is coming out in G10. I've got the Apache in titanium with M3, M390, and, of course... If you don't like the glass breaker on the end, which is kind of odd for as classy a knife as this is. But in any case, this is M390, satin grind. Okay, so these come in different, these are out now in titanium, in different colors of titanium with M390, or I believe you can get them in S35VN for a little bit less. I think about 200 for this, 175 for S35, and then they're coming out they're out uh with g10 and they have i think it's aluminum with g10 inserts uh if i remember correctly but uh basically my whole point was and 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 they're like 60 bucks so that's interesting isn't it and of course the waistline which i had a titanium one around here somewhere but I got this in carbon fiber just because it was only a couple bucks more than the G10 one. They have these in G10 as well. But this is that laminate carbon fiber you may not like. I thought it was kind of schlickster because I think this whole knife is real kind of ninja stealth-ish. So I, I got it in this just for a kick. Uh, but it's kind of a deep carry type clip, right or left hand carry. See the opening back in here? So you use a screwdriver, I guess. And then this backside of this is Torx. So there you go on this. And this is D2. And this is a big old knife. But it, the blade ain't much. It's really thin. I mean, you know, profile wise. 
But this is pretty wicked as well. I had that up on my Instagram. Tomahawk. Nice. I, I think on some of these liner lock knives, sometimes, eh, this one doesn't have it. Sometimes you can have it make a little bit of noise with that detent ball, I think, coming across there. But this one's really silent. This one? See, you heard that, right? And this is an older manufacturer. But yeah, see, isn't that weird? But I've had that happen on other makes as well that are uh, even like Wii knives that are the, the big G10 series Wii knives that are liner lock. That one's got a little bit of song to it too, but this one is original manufactured too. So I think they fine-tuned that detent and made it really nice. I know that these two are both more modern manufacture and neither of them make any kind of noise at all right now. Don't know if that will change in the future. In any case, yeah. And so this is a liner lock as well. Not hearing that from this either. So, okay. I think they tuned that one. I think Russell and I talked about that as well. So pretty good uh, response from Artisan Cutlery. You know, thinking about changing doing different things you got a little kind of beauty ring around here nothing there here it's the same where you got to use their little tool or a screwdriver they changed it went to the torx still staying with their nice right or left hand tip up carry with a deep carry clip and a d2 blade and great pricing i mean that's just that's you know ceramic bearings and all that for uh 50 bucks, I think, is very competitive. And, of course, if it's 50, then, or 52, whatever, I mean, you get 10% off with the LTK discount code. Uh, so, contact White Mountain Knives. If they don't have the model you're looking for, I'll bet they can get it. All right, I'm going to let you go. I've taken enough of your time up. But thank you so much. It's, it's, you know, I don't know. I yeah I'm I know I'm gonna do I know I'm gonna get the dragonfly I forgot to tell you about that one there's a dragonfly knife from artists and I'm gonna get that in both the steel version and in the titanium and then I'm gonna get the Apache which is this knife but I'm gonna get it in that aluminum with G10 inserts and see what that's like too so. Hold on for, for more information coming down the road. But uh, I just really like a lot of their designs. I mean, I like the Tomahawk. I like the Apache. I like the tradition. See, I mean, you can tell the knives I've been getting. I didn't get the Virginia. I'm not that attracted to it. And uh, But, you know, the Zumwalt, big time. The waistline is interesting but probably my least favorite of this group, okay? And then the shark as well, which is, a, that's a carbon fiber one, but you can get these in G10 as well. And the shark, you know, I still, I think I still like these, and then this, and then probably last but not least, the waistline, or the waistline shark about running the same, as far as just my personal preference on design. But that's just my personal preference. But I do love this Zumwalt. This might be an interesting knife to have in a smaller size as well. And in G10, but also in the titanium. That would really be cool. And I've got a titanium Zumwalt around here somewhere, but... I released that video, so check them out. Whew. They're interesting knives. I just love the designs, and of course, they're doing them really well. Thank you so much. Pulled you right into the 20-minute zone, didn't I? Once again, Big Mouth LTK can't shut up. Hey, I get excited about knives. We just pull them all out. We go crazy. Thank you so much for joining me. You know what we do around here, right, Mr. Flanagan? We love them knives. So you guys, stay sharp.